Yes, a ground-based telescope in Chile called TRAPPIST spotted a star with three planets, they thought, last summer, 40 light years away from Earth, and they named that star TRAPPIST-1. NASA more recently employed a space-based infrared telescope called SPITZER to look more closely. The news today from NASA is that scientists examining the data have found that star has seven orbiting planets about the same size as our planet Earth. Here's NASA's Thomas Zerbushin. The discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. Now, this star TRAPPIST-1 is much smaller than our sun. It's known as an ultra-cool dwarf star. And the difference is about the difference between a basketball and a golf ball. But the seven planets are bunched up together and much closer to that sun. If you were standing on one of these planets, you would see them with similar detail as we can see when we look at our moon. They also think three of these planets are potentially similar in conditions to Earth in that they may have rocky, watery surfaces and the right temperatures to support life. And that brings me to my next question. Has NASA said anything about one day being able to travel there? Well, that's it. Don't book your ticket yet. This system is about 40 light years away from Earth. So if you were to jump into a conventional jetliner, it would take only 44 million years to get there. So not in our lifetime, but maybe sometime in the future, there will be some amazing technical developments. In the meantime, the Hubble Space Telescope is now being employed to study the composition of these planets to give us some clues as to whether they ha indeed have water or rock on these planets. But the takeaway from all this is the discovery that there is a high likely to likelihood that there are other planetary configurations which make space scientists believe the chances of life existing somewhere out there is very high. All right, Danielle Rinches, thank you so much.